Hello guys, today we learn how to create a web API with delete method in sv.net mbc5. You have required to implement this Visual Studio 2015 mbc5 and SQL Server 2012 or higher version. There is uh, HTTP delete verbs in web API of sv.net mbc. The HTTP delete request is used to delete an existing record in the database. We use here attribute routing. In top of controller, we will write route prefix API imply and action method we will use route del on action method. And our final URL would be like HTTP localhost, this one. It may be your website URL, your web API URL, and that is API imply that is I have given a route prefix, and after that I give del means routing on the action method, and one zero one that is the ID where we want to delete it from the database. Now let us start the creation of web API delete method with the help of sv.net mbc. For this also we need a table in database. So I have already created its table implies and their imply ID name and fairly here imply ID is the primary key. Now let us start open visual studio go to file new project need to select web and name of the project here i am writing web api delete method you can put any name on of your projects according to your convenience or naming convention and click on ok Choose empty projects and choose web API because you are, you are now trying to develop web API using the sv.net mbc and click on OK button. Also, we use here entity framework. So, our project empty project is created. Now, you can see there is a data controller models. Our first step is add a your.net entry data model. So click on add, go to new item, go to data, and select a your.net entity data model and click on add. Choose EF design from database and click next. Click new connections, put the server name, choose SQL server authentication, username, and put password database password and choose the database name so i database created sample and click on ok button now choose to yes include the sensitive data in the connection string sample entities will be saved in the config file and click on next next now i have to choose implies table so implies table i selected and click on finish now you can see our model one dot edmx is created and when we go and see model one dot edmx is created in models folders and also you can see here employee dot cs that is a public property with getter and setters so it can be called in the applications in this project now create a controllers like i have create one controller and choose web api empty controllers and click on add button name of the controller should be employee you can give any name so you can see here employee control will be created now i want to create a delete method which http delete 
so I have brought right down here public IHTTP action results will be delete employee return I put here okay now here I will use attribute routing so first I put here route prefix route prefix you can see here I've given like API employee and after that we'll put route met route attribute on this method delete method so this URL will be customized right route and put I have del now I want to delete one record from database so need to pass parameter like I put here int emp id now I have to write down some code here like if emp id less than zero then return by request that by request okay is found in web api 2.0 in sv.net mbc so it simplifies the request only now add model for this sample entity is equal to db sample entity is and after that where result db dot employees dot where i have to check here whether either Employee ID exists or not, so I put here x equal greater x dot emp id double equal equal to emp id dot first or default listing. Searching whether this employee ID exists or not in table employee of database, so put here x equal greater x dot emp id equal to emp id which is coming from the client and after that dot first or default so take more validation if result not equal to null then that record will be deleted from the database so i have write down here db dot entity result dot state equal to sim system dot data dot entity dot entity state dot deleted and after the deletion db dot save changes this record will be finally save so that's this way this imply id will be deleted from the database from the using the link queue uh, if no real no imply id found then i have right here else part and return by request imply id is not valid if this record is saved deleted so also only i pass return dot ok means it will successfully delete the record and our, and response will be 200 so now i want to check whether this method will is working or not so i put here a breakpoint and now run the application and this application will test using the postman method now go to app in chrome browser click on f and go to postman open a new tab now our method is delete i have to put here url so our url so base url this one put here now i have customized the uri so this one api employee put I have to put here and also I have to put here del after that also I need to pass the ID which I want to delete so put like 101 but uh, this ID is not pass here so simply put stop the application after that we need to put emp id so id will be pass and also put that 
now again run the applications and check the database go to sample database and check here select star from employee and execute this command so you can see there is value 101 john and sally now i want to i want to delete this card through the HTTP delete method in sv.net web api so uh, for this i have used the client push ban and put delete and this url now i want to click so when we click on submit button this will redirect to our web api http delete method so also you can see there imply id 101 is created and here check and got the real data is in database so if real not equal to null this line will be deleted the uh, data in uh, that table and after that is save changes in the framework and then it will return okay and click on a five then we will get the status 200 k that means data is deleted also you can write the message here like you can put here like emp id also you can pass the message like emp id emp id is deleted so now run the application again and now i i have to choose another day uh, employee id 105 put 105 and click on send button so check and continue so you can get that employee id is deleted so thus way we can see here sdp method is working properly in sp.net web web api thanks for watching if you want to view more videos please subscribe my youtube channel